Well, the other stock that we're looking at this morning is New Gen Software. It's on our radar today. Uh, the company's Q2 earnings were strong. The revenue saw very healthy growth while the margins also expanded. Virinder Ji, the CEO at New Gen Software, joins us now to discuss their uh, Q2 performance. Mr. Ji, thanks a lot for joining in. You know, in the Q1 conference call, you had said that you'll try and exceed the historical growth momentum of 20% in FY24. Where, were, where are we at now? In the first half, you saw a revenue growth of 31%. What is your expectation in the second half and where do you see the year end? Good morning and thank you for having me on your call. And you're absolutely right. I think uh, as we said, uh, stated that we would try to exceed and that has been the endeavor for many years. We have done, uh, the first half has been very good on account of our growth on uh, core markets and think US, India, Middle East all grew at more than 30%. So we have clocked uh, 31% or 32% growth for H1. Uh, having said that, we always said that the Q3, Q4 are much larger quarters for us. And uh, I think maintaining and sustaining growth is what we are wanting. Clearly, it's looking at that we will be exceeding our historical growth rates. Uh, what numbers will hit? Will it be about 25 or about 30 percent? I think that we'll have to wait and watch because still Q3 and Q4 are major quarters for us. But the business overall is looking very good. I think on our traditional markets, banking uh, predominantly is doing very well for us in India and Middle East. And also the other markets are growing uh, right right now. Hmm. All right. Hi, Mr. Jeet. Uh, good morning. Uh, tell us what's going to lead from here on, the license revenue or the SaaS revenue? You know, what's going to be the growth driver? If you could give us a couple of numbers. You've said annuity in the past should go from 60 to around 75 odd. So how, where do you see the growth uh, levels? And also, given that your revenue growth is going to be better, normally you do pat margins of around 17, 18%. And I'm reading a brokerage note that says that maybe it will be more than 20% for this year. You agree? Oh, I have not said that brokerage note, but I, I hope that we can do that if the top line keeps on growing at this speed. Uh, you know, the, the growth is predominantly coming from our, see, we sell only licenses and that's what, and the license is either in the subscription mode or in the perpetual mode. And as, uh, depending on the market, some markets are more, uh, you know, accustomed to paying in uh, what you call uh, perpetual mode. Today, the larger growth is coming in Middle East and India. So these are markets where we sell more license. So the license growth is high. But as we start shifting more and more to uh, mature markets, subscription growth momentums will pick up. Uh, mm. Apart from that, uh, annuity growth will continue go because it's a, it's a compounded growth, whether we sell licenses or we sell subscription, annuity will keep on growing. On the margin front, our cost base for Q2 is typically the normalized cost base for the year. So any increment <laughs> side will keep on compounding margins for next two quarters and we do expect to expand our margins but you know as as we clearly said that our idea is to maintain between somewhere 18 19 percent of uh, pat margins i think we should be able to do that at this okay virinder uh, uh, two questions one you've said that you are uh, trying to focus on uh, looking at getting large banks as uh, clients and you said insurance is also looking promising can you tell us if uh, things have moved on that front? Are you closer to signing anything large? Uh, and uh, second, uh, would you want to give us a ballpark number in terms of the uh, new order wins in the quarter? Yeah, so I'll come to the second part. I, on the new order wins, we have done 14 new logos uh, this quarter. And uh, overall for the year, uh, you know, we, it's been much better than the last year. On the large bank deals, that's what the growth momentum is being driven from. In fact, even uh, this quarter, Last 20 days, we got one of the largest deals in public sector banks for us in India. And in last uh, quarter as well, uh, it's just gone by, we've got more than three, four large public sector. So banking is driving the growth. Insurance is the second driver. And I think on the, especially on the policy servicing claims, we are finding a lot of traction on the new digital journeys which the customers are taking up. Sure. So private vertical banking and insurance being the secondary vertical things. Okay, so banking and insurance, right, is where you're seeing maximum traction. Just before we let sure. you go, uh, earlier you had said that the size of the deals are going up, at least compared to what you saw in the preceding years. Can you tell us what is the average size of the deals now? Uh, I think, you know, I, I don't have that number, but predominantly what we say is typically we are, uh, you know, at least every year we are compounding our de average deal size by 20-30% on an average growth. But what is happening, uh, you know, unique is that we are winning some very, very large deals in terms of which has not been the traditional deal sizes for us has been, you know, the larger one used to be a million or two million dollars. Now we are reaching a four million, five million dollar deals, which are making substantial, into, you know, order book size for us, which can give us a lot of uh, revenue down, downstream. Okay. All right. Uh, just one more question, Mr. Jeet. Uh, 
You know, you have exposure to the Middle East and there's an ongoing conflict in Israel which hopefully gets resolved soon. Have you seen any kind of pullback from your Middle East, uh, uh, you know, clients? And also, do you have any exposure, direct exposure to Israel? No, we don't do any, we don't have any direct exposure to Israel. On the Middle East front, right now, I don't think the current conflict is having any signs on the ground on the business side. But I think we'll have to wait and watch as the, as the situation develops. You know, predominantly the oil economy is generally, unless the oil prices hit, get hit very large, we don't see, we've never seen the cycles of downturn on economy unless okay. they're related to oil, oil, oil price. So okay. we and are very it, hopeful that momentum will continue to be here. And data day is down to 105. Do they go down from here? Just give us a quick range. What sh what we should yeah, so, work with? You know, our, our endeavor is to take it to around 90 days organically in next one, one and a half years. And that's what we are that's on the one. path. And it's, it's good, yeah. Okay, pleasure talking to you, uh, Mr. Jeet. Wishing you all the best. You're sounding confident about the way ahead as well. And we look forward to having a chat with you at the end of this quarter as well. But